Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's review simple harmonic motion, also known as SHM, but simple harmonic motion, what we call it. And let's look at the basics. So here we have five pictures where we see a mass which is attached to a spring, which the spring gives it the restoring force to try and put the mass back at the equilibrium point. And so we have five different pictures of five different situations within the motion of that so we can understand it better. But we should also understand the basic concept of simple harmonic motion. We should know that the energy contained within the system always remains a constant and changes back and forth between potential and kinetic energy. There's always going to be a restoring force which is equal to the negative K which is a spring constant times position away from the equilibrium point. So when you're at the equilibrium point the force will be zero, but away from the equilibrium point, the force will grow in size and magnitude as x becomes bigger. As you get farther and farther away from the equilibrium point, the force trying to push it back to the equilibrium point increases in magnitude. So k is known as the spring constant, essentially the strength of the spring. x is a distance away from the equilibrium point. EP is what I call the equilibrium point. That's where the net force equals zero. So there's no forces acting on the object. And so at that moment, the acceleration will be zero. Um, where am I here? And that will be where the velocity is the maximum. That's when the object has reached its maximum velocity. A is known as the amplitude, which is the maximum distance away from the equilibrium point. And when x equals A, when the object is at the maximum distance away from the equilibrium point, the force acting on it, the restoring force is a maximum, the acceleration therefore is a maximum, and the velocity at that point will be zero, because that's when the object has reached its farthest point, like here, comes to a stop, and then reverses direction. So at that moment in time, that split moment, the velocity is zero. So here you can see visually, at the far point, the restoring force is a maximum, the restoring force continues to push the object, and not just push, but accelerate the object towards the equilibrium point. When it reaches the equilibrium point, the force is zero. When it shoots past the equilibrium point, the restoring force begins to push it in the opposite direction. But because of its velocity, it will continue to go until it reaches its maximum amplitude, and then the force will begin to push it back. Notice that the direction of the restoring force is always the negative of the position of the object. If the object is on the right side, the restoring force will be to the left. When the object is on the left side, the restoring force will be to the right. So if you understand those basic concepts, we can then go ahead and start working on how to actually calculate the various things such as what is its position, what is its velocity, what is its acceleration as a function of position and as a function of time. So we'll look at those details later, but you have to understand the concepts here before we move on.